Hi! It's me, Captain Incredible. Thanks. We're going to be making, finishing the drum machine. The random generative drum machine that isn't boring. If you can remember last time, I was all excited. It was going to be really amazing. But basically, we ended up with a pile of wires and knobs on the table that just made noises. It did make beautiful noises, but it was just a pile of wires. So today, we're going to try and take that pile of wires and cram it into a box with lots of wires inside. And you can push the buttons and make noises and do lots of amazing shit, basically. So what I'm gonna do, and I think this is a brilliant idea, I'm gonna take just an ordinary aluminium Hammond case, and I'm going to spray paint it with one of these, an ordinary spray painting thing, purple color. The plan is then I will literally use the laser to burn away the paint into a beautiful pattern, and hopefully it'll just look brilliant and nothing will go wrong. Another brilliant idea I've had, instead of just kind of eyeballing where the holes go, I'm going to laser cut a bit of wood that already has little guide holes. Then I'm gonna drill through those guide holes into the box underneath, and that way I'll get the holes perfect and beautiful. So, um, that is that is definitely gonna work. <clears throat> I think I'm getting there. Something like this. So first, we just wanna cut out a frame that we can put the box into, use as a jig, and make the jig that we're gonna put on top to drill the holes, I guess. So, turn the laser on. Laser I learned something. I uh, learned that drilling really, really big holes in aluminium enclosures is a little bit difficult, even with amazing laser jigs. Next time, I'll probably try and get hold of a drill press. I mean, the holes are almost in the right place. Uh, these ones on the back, I didn't even have a jig for them, so that didn't turn out very great at all. But at least I managed to fit all the holes on there. One thing I didn't manage to fit all of is the wires. There's too many wires in here. I'm gonna have to try and cut some of the wires down. Wish me luck. I'm sure you're not very surprised, neither was I, to be honest. You'll be uh, glad to find out that I didn't actually cut down all the wires and make lots of extra space in there, that would have been stupid. I used a far more sophisticated technique called Brute Force, where you basically just 
cram all the wires in there, just fucking get them in! And screw the screws in, and that seems to have worked just fine. I've actually tested it, and uh, it still makes the noises, and hopefully I'll never have to open it again. So now it's the time of, for, it's of the code time for the computer in... Let's code, bitches! So, I have basically rewritten everything. Now it does a lot more of the things that it's supposed to do. It uses some more sophisticated ways of figuring out what notes should be playing. So all the different algorithms are stored here in this uh, function and it can now sum together different drum sounds and play more than one drum at the same time. But they do sound pretty weird when you do that. For example, if I play one of these at a time, that's what they sound like. But if I try and play two at the same time, it mixes them in a really weird way. It's more a mix of the algorithms than the sound, really. Basically, you can use these buttons to play the sounds. You can also choose what sound the button is. So if, for example, I want this button to uh, control that sound. I can also uh, decrease the clock frequency. One thing I want to point out is that while it seemed like a brilliant idea at the time to just spray this with ordinary paints, it turns out it doesn't really work so great. You can see it's already flaked off on the front here and it's it's coming off everywhere really. It doesn't it's just not great. I just wanted to see what it was like if you cut some corners and tried to do it as quickly and easily as possible. And it's I mean it personally, to be completely honest, I kind of like the vintage look it's already got after me just using it for a day. But yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a better way of doing that. Okay, that's all I've got time for today really. We didn't finish all the things that I promised we were gonna do. We've not made a sequencer in it yet and we haven't made any music with it. That's, I guess that's the two things we've got left. Really sorry about that. Promise we will. I'd really love to spend loads of time on this right now and finish as much as possible, but the problem is I'm getting a little bit married tomorrow, so I have to put a little bit of effort into that, I guess. I really want to make this into a kind of a finished, cool thing, a proper instrument that I can use to make music and that possibly I can also sell. For If anybody's interested in that, then leave a link in the uh, comment in the comment bit underneath the video square. <laughs> It's not like a super high def, brilliant sounding drums, but it makes some weird fucking noises. So definitely gonna follow this up, uh, but I think I've run into a bit of a limitation with the case that I've chosen. I literally can't fit anything else in there. There's a few more knobs and buttons I'd like to put on there, but I really dread opening this case up again, considering how fucking difficult it was to get it stuck together in the first place. Uh, so I'm gonna make a new one uh, that is more pretty. Uh, uh, 
But as always, the uh, code and the schematics are uh, on my Patreon site for my beautiful patrons. And we will be revisiting this project in not too long. And there's so much other crap I have to build. So there'll be plenty of videos to watch of me utterly failing at different tasks in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.